Phoebe script. What is Phoebe script? It looks like a Visual Basic for Excel or Access or Word, but it's a more general, simpler language. They often call it a lightweight language to program your computer. It has a fast interpreter, so it's, it works pretty fast. But it's made for a wide variety of environments. VBA for Excel is made for Excel. The other one is made for access. This one can be used on any kind of environment. So I decided to make a CD-ROM that shows you how to make VB script. The CD-ROM is a rich source of information. It has 367 different slides to guide you through the whole learning process. Just to give you an idea how rich the CD is, here is a table of contents of all the issues you will touch on in this, this CD-ROM. All the files to the right are the files you will work with. You can find the starting files that you start from scratch and you will also find these files in a finished version so you can see how they should have been if you got stuck in the process. I cannot touch all of these of course, but I will just show you how to make an array in the VB script, how to load files, open files, create files with text, and I will show you how to mobilize Microsoft Outlook and maybe other Microsoft programs. So let's start with a very simple case of an array in Visual Basic Script. You declare an array, and in this case I, I used an array of users and passwords. So Mary has as the password secret, and John has the password secret one. And the array is basically a two dimension that you can use. Uh, most of the slides also have a set of questions. A multiple choice question to make sure that you understood what you have done so far. So if you want to add the user n, which answer would be correct? And when you click on one of these options, it either does not do anything or it takes you to the next slide if you click on the right button. To show you that it gives you a very thorough explanation of a VB script, it shows you the structure of VB script with all the subsystems. And in case you want to create text files or open text files or copy files, you will need the scripting section file system object. How do you access all of this? That is done with the first line in the VB script. Notice that all VB script files are saved as VBS, so they can be accessed from anywhere on your computer. In this case, I, I would like to show you how you can interact with Microsoft Access, which is the table in the background, and how you can send that table to Microsoft Outlook, and let the user choose how they want to send that object to Microsoft Outlook as an HTM file or whatever option you choose. To show you what the result would be, in this case we are sending the Outlook calendar from Microsoft Outlook uh, and send it through our email system, in this case Outlook, to whoever you want to send it to. And of course it has a question again, which functions do we need to do all of this? Here are some examples of final files. The first one is going to um, ask the user how long has the employee been with the company and then according to its his or her salary, it calculates the date of hire for this employee. By default, it's the beginning of the year 2000. Let's say the salary is 45,000. 
that is 13 years of seniority, so that person qualifies for a 7% bonus, which is $3,150 based on the salary. A similar situation is done to start the calendar, and it starts on June 21st in this case, and it gives you every week what the calendar is. A very simple situation of a VBS file. Sort an array. It shows you first what the unsorted list is, January through December, and we are going to sort it alphabetically, so it came up with the following list. It's a very simple sorting algorithm. We can also interact with this. It will open Excel. It will create a series of sales amounts, either from another file or by a random number generator. It asks you, do you want to calculate the sales tax? If you say yes, it is going to do that. It finds out how many rows we have. We have 10,000 rows in column A. We have just one column. The sales tax is 2 million something. And it's going to calculate for every entry what the sales tax was for that specific amount of money. It did that through an array and it pasted that into Excel. Outlook. We look in the Outlook calendar. In my Outlook calendar there happen to be 442 appointments. I'm going to mail it to someone. I'm just clicking OK. So it has no sent to information, otherwise it would. And it showed me all the appointments from going back from 2028 to the beginning of my calendar in 2009. It will not select anything unless you put in your code that you just want this for specific dates. So, where do you find all of this? VB scripts, CD-ROM, published by MrExcel.com. You can also purchase it through Amazon.com. I hope I have excited you about this great tool, and I wish you good luck in becoming a VB script expert.